the good news is that I'm back, and the bad news is I know you didn't have enough time to have a drink and chat with your friends, but if we could just calm down a bit, we can get on with the program. I have to say it is wonderful to see so many of you back with us. This is our 14th year, and uh, it is also the 100th year of JA Worldwide, which is quite extraordinary. And they now serve in 100 countries around the world. And the most extraordinary thing is that they've stayed very topical so that the students who partake in the programs are receiving and being mentored and things that will make sense to them. So I'm very proud to be a longtime friend of JA. I have watched many of the students come up on this stage and been very intrigued as to where they went. I'm also very impressed with how many people are here tonight who've been with us through the 14 years. So I thank you and I applaud you and thank you very much. Now you've probably met some of the outstanding students on your way in and I, it's hard for me to describe to you how much it means that you come out to support them each time. So, Regardless of social or economic background, JAB's vision is to provide all youth in British Columbia with the access to this life-changing program. So some are positively impacted, and some find the JA experience absolutely transformational. It is now my pleasure to introduce and, and present the winners of the JABC Oratory Award and Presentation Skills. This is just one of many of the scholarships that we present to JA students. They had to apply using a video and they were judged by as many of the business leaders in this room. The three winning students received a complimentary presentation coaching from the PFM executive search firm and each student is now going to tell you how JA has impacted their lives. So please welcome Joshua, Sana, and Aaron.